Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all back to another modern cube draft. This is an interesting pack. Thassa Deep Dwelling is interesting, and I kind of want to build around it. I think there's definitely certain synergies that are unbeatable with the Thassa Deep Dwelling. And Teferi is just Teferi. And that dude is also miserable AF. I don't think either one of these would wheel. I think I want Thassa. Like, Thassa's more of a card that I want to build around. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Thank you. Riffwing Cloudskate? That seems like a blinker. Unforgiven with the resub. Thank you so much. I appreciate I just watched your mono green deck drive draft the other day and I loved the one match. You went super wide and you squeezed out the wind with a little mog. I appreciate you. Crater Hoof Behemoth? That's like the one time we've ever seen Crater Hoof in this cube. I don't care about Narset. I think it's Riffwing Cloudscape. I'm just passing the stupid idiot. I don't love Champion. I think it's alright. Luminous Broodmoth kind of cool. If you have Luminous Broodmoth, you can blink your guys with the flying counter. And then they don't have flying counter, so then when they die, they come back again. That's kind of cool. I don't know if it's good enough to go into white, though. Like, I think I just take champion here. Champion's fine. Blinking Crater Hoof seems terrible. He comes back at your end step, and you're like, Alright, all my guys are big. Your go. Glenelendra Archmage. I mean, that's just a solid blue card. Yeah, I don't think we're going to collect company here. Also, blinking Glenelendra Archmage is infinite counters. Yeah, there's no real reanimate deck. Being the modern cube, the, the reanimate spells just aren't there. Like, you, you have, like, Umbero rights and... Maybe make shift mannequin if it's in this cube, which I think I mentioned before. I'm just gonna dust this real quick. Beautiful. <sighs> Dusting all the things. I forgot to turn the event list back on. I was like, I wonder why. I was wondering why it looked. So empty down here. You know, the song was... I don't think the song is about Dennis Quaid. I hope I have a good run today, too, Pamela Voorhees. I appreciate you. I was adulting and fixing all of my toilets when I saw your stream on live. Hello from the side of my toilet and never use Clorox tabs in your toilet tank. Why not? Oh. Oh, my God. We finally don't have a second color. And we can finally take the Dream Trawler. That we want to see in the world. Deal. Bet. This key, no reanimator. This key was pretty much the shittiest. They eat all the rubber, pla rubber and plastics. Really. That feels like something they'd want to avoid as a company. Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid did save us from aliens. He also told us that the shitter was full. I don't think I've even seen a Vendillion click in this cube yet. Again, decent blink target. He was right. The shitter was full. I'm going to get a shirt that says Uncle Eddie was right. 
And then people are going to be like, what is he referring to? The shitter being full? It's a subscription to the Jelly of the Month Club. And that's just the gift that keeps on giving all year long, Clark. I watched that movie or I was, yeah, you and my parents both. I grew up watching, uh, friggin' National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation because my parents have watched it every year. Face Fetter seems okay. It does deal with Planeswalkers, which is nice. I mean, I'm already committed to this Dream Trawler. You're never gonna, you're never get me to change course there. I would love some more two drops. Aceru, thank you for the resub. Three years. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the three years of beautiful Sphinx's Rev. It's like the only card playable in here. And I like Sphinx's Rev is a card I don't like putting in my deck. But I like having an excuse to play it. I'm like, oh well, we're blue white, might as well play it, right? Are we blue enough for the gin? I don't know. Like the the problem with the gin is every planes you play is just makes it worse. Like if I if my opening mana base is island island planes, I can't play it till turn four at the earliest, and then like it's a two two four and it's like, meh. I mean I think you really just have to have mono mono islands in your deck for that guy to even be worth it. Otherwise it's just a vanilla flyer for the, for sometimes three sometimes it's almost cost five. I'll take a mentor. Yeah, I guess Cloud... Yeah, that's true. Cloud Drop is... Cloud's Kate is a two-drop. We can take Pull for tomorrow, but it's basically just a Sphinx's Revelation. I mean, you're both drawing the same amount of cards, so... Only Rev gains you life. Hmm. Saheeli Rai is interesting. I'm going to take the Saheeli Rai in case we get the combo. Cloud Drop is a two skate. You think you're so funny, Danny. Making fun of a child who's learning how to speak. This pack's pretty unexciting. I'll take Night Veil vale on the chance that we end up blue black instead. I'll take Mimic Fat. Looter came back? Oh, that's nice. That's what I want to see. That's beautiful. Take a sort of light and shadow, sure. I just realized Dream Trawler is just the push version of Prognostic Sphinx. What if it drew a card when it attacked instead of scrying and it had lifelink and drawing cards increases its attack? I can I see that's funny because I always compared it to Consecrated Sphinx. Because they're both Sphinxes, there's a two power disper two two two-digit disparity between their power and their toughness. They both fly. They both draw you cards. I can definitely see Prognostic Sphinx as well. They're both 3-5s. Whereas Prognostic Sphinx is a 2-5. It's a 3-5, isn't it? It 
it is a 3-5. Oh yeah, you discard a card and it gains hexproof and you tap it. That's literally the same ability. That's wild. Huh. Yeah, Prognostic Sphinx also saw play back in the day. Anyway, the pick was Metamorph there, just to be clear. Oh, God. I want this Jace, but I also want Glacial Fortress, considering I have no fixing so far. Um... I think the land is, is too important. I just think it's too necessary. Two swords. Back-to-back -back swords. Cloud Goat Ranger is pretty good with a... Uh, Sasa. Yeah, I think it's just Cloud Goat Ranger. Pestermite's fine, but like we don't have Kiki Jiki, and we're probably not going to be playing it if we did. Where are Planeswalkers at? Oh, there's an Elspeth. Solemn Simulacrum actually seems great here. So does Ashiok, though. Can we splash for the Ashiok? Splash for the Ash? Hmm. I mean, like, I'm sure cantrips would help, right? Like, that's not... There's there's no reason they wouldn't. But, like, the problem is I feel like when I'm playing 18 lands, I shouldn't have to run a cantrip in order to in order to hit my, my third land drop. Like, that just... I don't feel like that's a thing. I don't care about this Elspeth. I think it's either Treasure Map, Solemn Smilak, or Ashiok. I think Ashiok's just almost too good. Like, this Ashiok is very, very good. The greed is so real. Bribery. Also, Karanos. Oh, man, Karanos is good, too. Now we have an option between, like, these two. Bribery is nice. I don't know if Bribery's really that great in this cube, though. I think Duplicant's fine. So is Mere Battlesphere. It's funny, because I don't actually think Bribery is that great in this cube. Like, I don't think the creatures... Yeah, I think Duplicant's just better with, with Thassa. I think we're just trying to maximize our Thassa interactions. I actually kind of like Mana Leak here. Felidar Guardian. Uh, we never draw it. The combo, that is. <laughs> like, I think it's Mana Leak here. I like Dissolve. Alesh Norn seems banging. I kind of just like having counter spells. Let's just go for some counter spells. Ooh, Colonnade? I like a Gideon Jura, but I'm, not, I'm definitely taking a Celestial Colonnade here. Spell Quiller? Okay. This is an Island Swamp, so that's actually pretty decent for us. It does let us cast this Ashiok. More like Cast Shiok. What would you do for a Glondike bar? Ding ding. Yeah, Terminus seems fine. <laughs> Unforgiven, I feel like you're lagging just a little. Oh, the treasure map came back? Wow, that. What? Meal and Brattlesphere and Torrential Gearhulk? Gearhulk's not even terrible here. We have Dissolve, Mana Leak. We could definitely get more things. I think it's not Battlesphere. Battlesphere's just. Real good, especially with, especially with Thassa. Buddy, I had a Klondike bar last night. It was fabulous. Super Fritz doesn't like ice cream, confirmed. Gilded Lotus? Sure, I'll take a Gilded Lotus. Oh, an Explosion Expansion? Jeez. That goes very well with a Gilded Lotus. Cyclonic Rift. Golos. It's 
So I like Path, I like Rift, I like Golos here. I don't really care about Master of Waves that much. <laughs> I mean, I think, like, the end game Rift is just so good, though. It just gets you out of so many situations. I'm gonna take Rift. Arid Mesa? Does that get a Triumph? No. It doesn't get anything yet, unfortunately. Gala Shrine, though. Let's take the Gala Shrine. That lets us cast our boy. This ca this pack's not that great. Harbinger, History, Glass Casket. Sure, I'll just take Gala Shrine. I wanna be fixing, fixing. I wanna be fixing, fix. This pack's also pretty underwhelming. I think I'm okay with taking Mindstone. Oh, Cryptic Command? I kind of just want Cryptic Command. We have Dissolve, Mana Leak. I think we're kind of playing a Counterspell deck. Plus, I keep passing Cryptic Command. Venser seems good. Especially with Blink. With Thassa. We, I think we've seen every sword. We saw Sword of Body and Mind. Sword of Light and Shadow, which we have. We saw Feast and Famine. And I think it was War and Peace maybe in the same pack. I think we've seen every sword so far. Grave Daddy's kind of nice. I'm going to take Venser. I also don't think I care about Monastery Mentor here. We're almost like mono blue. Like, if we cut Mentor, Face Fetters and, and Cloud Girl Ranger, I guess we're fine. We can cut Gilded Lotus for now. Oh, Elspeth's son's champion is bananas. I like Condescend too. This card's just too good though. Clever Impersonator is very good. I don't think we're casting a log. We could Day of Judgment. We have a, we have a Terminus though if we really need it. We also have Cyclonic Rift to bounce everything. Clever impersonator being able to copy Planeswalkers is pretty good, I think. Elspeth conquers death? Oh, wow, that's great. Golos came back? <sighs> Definitely taking Golos here. Wow, things just really... I, I don't think I care about Spell Queller. Like, it's not a creature I want to keep on the board. Heartless Act is fine. We're already splashing black. I'm going to take out... S Meh. Yeah, Sun Lance is probably fine. Shadow Spear is also decent. Let's take the Lance. Some very interesting last picks. All right, let's move our Riffling Cloudscape over again. Let's move our Phyrexian Metamorph over. I think we're cutting Spell Queller. I'm not super excited about it. I don't know if... Man, Golos does fix. I guess we're never going to be able to activate it, though. Which is the problem. This is a Swamp and a Forest. We need, like, a Red Source. We don't have one. I guess Treasure Map. We can activate it like once. It's also good with, with Thassa. I don't care about Mentor in this deck, really. Man, everything else I like, though. I think it just might be Golos. You can also just cut the Ashiok and then just not play the black. Is that worth it? Probably. Probably. 
Yeah, it's probably fine. I mean, at least two of these can go over the five drop if it's like... 10, 5, so it's actually 7, 9, 11. This is 11, 11, 8. And we have three double white cards. All right. 17 lands and a Mind Stone and a Treasure Map. All right, we'll see how this does. No four to five color buck buck here. Now we wait. All right, let's do it. We have a Terminus in the sideboard. We also have Cyclonic Rift, which I think is definitely equivalent to a uh, a Wrath effect. I'll keep this. Cloud Skate into Vendillion Click. Nice. All right, we're getting there. This deck looks pretty bad. I'm trying to reverse psychology your draws. Yeah, this deck looks terrible. Fingers crossed. Out of interest, if you were going to rank cubes, where would the Live the Dream Cube be? Assuming Vintage for... um, I don't know. Live the, cube, Live the Dream Cube might actually be higher than Vintage. I just think it was very fun and very obscure. And, uh, I really enjoyed it. Let's see what happens here. Show me your beautiful hand. Vraska, treasure map, Karn... 7 drop, 7 drop, 6 drop, and treasure map. I think we just get rid of the map. Yikes. That is a hand, my, my dude. We're going to need those, uh, those counter spells. Post haste. Oh, they drew something they can play. Lotus Cobra. Seems good. So next time, one, two, three, four, five, six, they can just play Vraska. That's great. That's. You're welcome. <laughs> what a draw. What an absolute banger of a draw. <sighs> yep. You have two 7-man Planeswalkers, you have to kill this. Guarantees you the ability to play it next turn. There you go. You figured it out. Wow. Oh, I guess it doesn't. You still need to land. Never mind. I wish I knew what I was drawing here. Hmm. Coffee's an artifact. I actually kind of want to copy Riffling Cloudscape here. So now we know they have Triome Cobra, so they can... Yeah, that actually 
seems decent. Now we can actually pressure Vraska. And next turn we can draw three if we don't hit another white source for Dream Trawler. Pirate. So we know four of the, the six cards in your hand. Okay, we know... Forest. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Cycle Trium. Okay. So two of the four cards in your hand. You should theoretically get to kill Vraska here. I have to vent. I'm playing someone how when I was way ahead on the board. Drop from the game with over 10 minutes on the clock and then log back in twice to resolve one trigger each to make sure I sat there. Like, that shit is just so infuriating. Five. It's just like the worst, dude. One, two, three, four, four. They have six mana, so any any land lets them play either Garrick or, or Karn, which is pretty rough. And they have three cards to be lands, so I'm just going to assume one of them is a land. Lewis, Lewis covers a hell of a magic card. I don't know why it took you that long to play a land, but okay. They're probably just deciding whether to play Garrick or Karn. And Garrick it is. I mean, we're definitely rubbing for three, it's all we can do. You got it. I mean, I also feel like untapping playing Cyclonic Rift isn't terrible either. Hard to play. Hard to play Dream Trawler when you only hit. Hey, look at us go. Look at us go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway, sorry about that. Wait, don't apologize, man. Dude, if anything, I vent. <laughs> Let's talk about venting, buddy. I'm the last person you need to apologize to for venting. I mean, I have two two free cards I can throw away if they want a Garrick. They can't even negative to kill it with Garrick, so. This is your stream, not buddy. Music manly man, Mike. You've been you've been a, you've been a, a supporter for ages, dude. Come into my chat and vent to me anytime, buddy. Is Rift better the further you end up ahead? I think so. The more they commit to the board, I think the better Rift is. I mean, their Garrick only has one mode right now, is make a 3-3, which is fine, because they all just die when we Cyclonic Rift. Um, if Karn comes down, like, he can kill a Riftwing, but we can just kill it and then bounce, so that's also fine. Yeah, if anything, like, you guys venting also makes me just feel better, because I'm like, okay, cool, you're commiserating, like, it doesn't just happen to me, right? Like... Cool, I'm not the only one who has these experiences, you know? It's it's camaraderie, you know? Like, it's uh, it's solidarity. We're all in it together. Here comes Karn. Here comes 
Overgrown tomb first. Okay. Can I vent about your face? Go for it. That's what I'm here for. Uh-huh. Hexproof, right? Okay. Oh, we might take seven here, but... Exile a card from our hand. Okay. I will choose an island. Okay, so we're not gonna... Okay, I'll take five. I won't block your death touch, beast. Something good? Do you think it's going to be something good? Tell me about that. Are you going to target my dream drawler so I have to discard island? Oh, you're just, you are. Hmm. Wild. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm definitely discarding island, so... Solid move. <sighs> well, I think we actually just killed Garrick and Cyclonic Rift their board. And then, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, their turn could be like they'd have to just play Karn, which is fine. But, like, we can get the Garrick off the board so they don't have a Garrick anymore. That actually seems pretty good. So we know they have Lotus, Cobra, Karn, and one other card. Yeah, Cyclonic Rift is a, well, a banger, dude. Tell me something good. Your face is too good looking and it's distracting me from your magic. I don't know about all that, but I appreciate I appreciate the sentiment, buddy. I'm just one man with one face. Who's the man with the face? I'm just gonna recarn. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seems fine. I'll get rid of my island, or my planes, rather. You got it. Uh, okay. I mean, that's your, that's your, that's your turn, right? <gasps> oh, that's bananas. B a n a n a s. That seems really good. Karn, Karn. Karn goes to one here. I mean, we could have just went with her face and then, like... But... Oh. Oh, no. We're playing Mere Battlesphere here. What's We don't care about that. So we can just win the game with this idiot. I mean, Karn's gonna exile one. I'll exile Glacial Fortress. Then if I have to exile Thassa to save the the dude I'll do that so how are the stray hairs doing it any stragglers I think we're doing good I think we parted correctly today like adults I believe that we're oh my god I hate it when Netflix just starts playing audio it is the good place though which is a a solid show Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay.
Well, sure, technical. Toxic Deluge for seven. I, Toxic Deluge is not a modern legal card, so I imagine it is not going to be in the modern cube. That's just my guess, though. Stranger things have happened. Seems good. Was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, plus eight. Yeah, it's lethal. So what do we see? A bunch of planeswalkers. A lot of planeswalkers. Lotus Cobra is like the only creature we saw. Dream crawler. Dream trawler is a. Uh, it's a. It's something. It's, it's something. Spoopy rent? That's my regular rent, but it's spoopy because it's October. It's my rent, but spoopier. Who's the man with the spoop? Also, Elspeth Conqueror's death seems great against their deck. So does Clever Impersonator. Jeez. The boys is very, very good, yes. But there are definitely some gorier moments. Oh, this seems great. Wow. Snap it off. Rent is scary enough without it being specifically spoopy enhanced. That seems that seems truthful. I'm tired of these Lotus Cobras. Man, I play Modern Cube so I don't have to deal with standard legal cards. Come on, guys. Who's the man with the spoop? Metamorph on the Cobra. Fascinating. Just wild. Well, here comes something good. <laughs> okay. I have like four counter spells in my deck. I haven't drawn one yet. Tell me something good. Attack your face. Ooh. Do 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 do. No 
no blocks. Oh, wow, they didn't do anything? That's fascinating. Jeez, now do we keep up Dissolve, or do we just slam a Cloud Go Ranger? I think it's Cloudy Boy. Cloud Ranger just puts us in a really good position. Like, like a Karn can't really deal with it very well. A Garrick can't deal with it very well. So, plus, like, if we get Thassa down, we can just start blinking it. Pretty good. Oh, they did nothing. Oof. If they want to double block with the Lotus Cobra, that's totally fine. Yep, kind of want to just keep that now. Yeah, this is fine. And I think this is going to be the end. I'm no expert, but I'm kind of an expert. I mean, if we get to untap now with Dissolve, like, I think this game can't go on. Okay. There is kind of a weird tension in this in this match where, like, um, you want to tap out for things like Cloud Guard Ranger and Dream Trawler, but you also have counter spells. Wrath of God effect. Okay. That's a good one. You have no permanence in your graveyard, though. Face fetters or cloud go range? Probably face fetters, right? Sure. Unforgiven. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Destroy Cloud Goat Ranger. Okay. Seems good. I mean, none of these guys can attack ever, so... Oh, yes. Um, the problem is they're going to get Vraska back because it's the only thing in the graveyard. So if they, when this pops, they're getting Vraska back. So I actually think we just go face. I don't care about the Vraska. There's nothing on the board that I care if you kill. 
It's pretty good. How much damage can I deal? I can deal 8, 9 if we Sphinxes Rev here. Duplicant. I'll discard Duplicant, actually. They don't have a ton of creatures that I really care about. So they're at 7. And we still get to keep a Venser or Dissolve, even with this. And it's non-creature spells, so that's fine. I'll pay five for a dissolve. I mean, sure, that's fine. Uh, Sphinx Rev is not really an option because they have Elspeth Conqueror's Death on two. So we'd be able to... Sphinx is for one. Five, six. If we can, if we hit a land, we can. Whatever this is, I'm countering it for sure. Uh, they have three mana. I don't know if they have a land in hand, so I'm just going to dissolve this. I want a bottom mana leak. <laughs> it seems like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Oh, what up, Mike the Mailman? Any land, and I think we can win. Not a land. So now we can Sphinx's Row for 1, 2, 3, plus the 2, plus 1. So it'd be 4... Plus five, plus six. We put them to one. We do have four creatures, so I guess we can just try to alpha. Attack your face. We can also bounce up the token. Yeah, we let's do that. So they take five from this guy for sure, and they have to deal with two. Like even if they have a removal spell and a, like two blockers, they go to one and they lose all their their board. So that's the end. No, I don't think this hand's going to do it. Yep, this is a good one. Um, let's get rid of planes. Two Lotus Cobras. What is this, standard? That's what I said. I was like, I play cubes, so I don't have to deal with this Thank nonsense. You. Oh, what up, Kerwit? With the bit, oh, that was two days ago. Oh, what up, Elk Tears with the with the resub? Thanks to Dan's for my sub, good friend. You make great content. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. I'm I'm grateful for our friendship. Thought 
thought scoured me. It's always random to thought scour your opponent. For like, no real... I mean, I don't want to draw this planes. I like treasure map, but I like cryptic command better, so. At least it's not Euro or Omnath, so. This is actually, I mean, this hand's coming together quite well. Counter, counter, counter Sphinx's Rev for f at least three. What if I have Lur? Yeah, exactly. Like, you're kind of just helping me, man. They're just not playing anything. That's wild. Send them on down to Rat Train. Huh. <laughs> Solid. Hmm. Fascinating. Is that going to keep it? Put it on the bottom. Okay. So we're just going to play click. Do the thing with the click. Mana leak. What they do. I do 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 do. It's a song I wrote. It's not great. It's okay, but it's not great. I like it. Oh, I like it. Let me see this beautiful hand. Roll that beautiful hand footage. Infernal Titan Bribery Banishing Light. I'm gonna be honest, I don't care about Banishing Light. I don't care about... Inferno Titan's kind of a banger. I don't care about Sleight of Hand or Pestermite. It's Inferno Titan or Bribery. They can get Dream Trawler. I think it's got to be Bribery, awkwardly enough. <gasps> oh, that's very good. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. So... I mean, they can play Inferno Titan and kill Vendillion Click, and then we can just... This is actually pretty good. That was a great draw. That is fine. So we don't have Inferno Titan anymore. We don't have these three cards in your hand. You can get rid of my Elspeth Conqueror's Death, but I feel like at that point the damage is done. Every day, killing your guys. <laughs> also, we have Sphinx for four right now, which is pretty juicy. 
I also have to assume they have Kiki Jiki in their deck. Okay, that's gone. Figured they do that, which is interesting because now I can bounce this to get rid of something. Like if they play like another five drop, I can just bounce the banishing light to exile it. Every day they get closer as the night comes. Five. If we have one more, I'd, I'd, I'd attack. Let's keep up Fencer, but right now I'm just gonna Sphinx his rev whenever I get the chance. It, yeah, it's also instant key and common rule. I can bounce this. Elspeth conquers that. I can actually just get rid of this guy now. Sure. Okay, all the cards in your hand are gone. Six, seven. Is four good enough? Probably. I have three cards in hand. Post combat glory bringer. Very weird. Ding, 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 four. You can have your banishing light back. This is why we don't exile Banishing Lights, or Elspeth Conquers Death, my kids. Uh, they have one card in hand. Do I think it's going to be... I'm tempted to bounce my Riftwing Cloudscape, because I'm going to get to play it again. And they won't have a, a Stompy Boy. I'm going to do it. Did we just lose to Kiki Jiki if they have it? I mean, we could exile this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I, I don't think they have it. They're gonna have it. Bounce Rifty. Not my little Rifty. So now this guy just goes to the graveyard. Bounce this. I don't know what I care more about. Like in a vacuum, I care more about the Glorybringer. Eh. Fuck. I feel, feel terrible about my life choices. See how quickly they tap their triple red. They have they have one card in hand before that. Now they have light that we know of. Okay, this is just a big fat thing. Okay, that's that's fine. And, and I say that's fine just because it doesn't kill me. So you still know banishing light and and um, I guess that's it, right? Just banishing light. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. We could go Riffling Cloudscape this, hit this guy, and then we just don't have to worry about it. What are we getting back from that guy?
Yeah, I like that. That seems safe. This is where they go Sahili Ra, I felt our guardian same turn. Yeah, this is like the third time Elspeth Conqueror's death is triggered. They didn't do anything. Okay. Don't be a land. I have enough lands. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands. This is fine. If they want to pay like five mana to block, four mana to block, whatever, like I'm I'm okay with that. I, mean, I wish I can get their Jace back with my Elspeth, but then they bounce their Jace. They get to play their Jace. Um, yeah, that's not ideal, but it's fu it's it's fine. I mean, we got a free Vendillion click back at the very least, so. See if you can set a record. I don't know how many. I don't know what the record is though. What is the hold up? You just hit the OK button and then you put the, co the tokens into play. Sure. So many tokens. So little time. Champion of Wits? Not bad with this one island in my hand. Oh, two islands? What is this? See what you got. One banishing light, two lands. I'm actually fine with that. You can keep it. Um, one, two, three. It's a champion here. Yeah. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty nice. Um. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. We just get to queue up Dissolve. That's pretty sweet when you have basically nothing in your hand. I'm just going to alpha here and let them sort it out. I mean, they have two shocks, which is fine. Like, we have a dissolve and they have one banishing light. So, like, no matter what they draw, we can counter it. And if they want to just resolve banishing light on any of my, like, not super relevant cards, that's fine. So if you're going to shoot this, why wouldn't you block with something and then shoot it? You know what I mean? Like, that just seems terrible. Like, we know your hand as well, so it wasn't like you had any tricks. So next time we can start attacking with Colonnade, and they don't have double shock, so... That seems good. So not a Banishing Light. 
Interesting. Oh, just a fumarole? Sure. Well, this is just fine. So Champion of Wits is better in the graveyard anyway. That's a weird attack. Did they play a land? Yeah. Nah. Don't do that. Um, yeah, let's put Glenelendra on top. Seems good. Do you have enough mana to activate this and attack? So six. It costs five and one, so it costs six. Yes, we do. One, two, three, four, five. Activate. Uh, did I underpay? I did, because I'm not smart. They're at one. Could we have killed them? I don't think so. <laughs> we put all the pressure that we had. Alright. Anger of the gods, interesting. Inferno Titan. Presumably, like, Kiki Jiki combo with Pestermite. I kind of like Sunlands here. It's not an instant, keep that in mind, but. Like, Duplicant's a great way to deal with Inferno Titan. We also have Metamorph and Clever Impersonator, which are great. I'll just submit like this. I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, definitely keeping this. Okay, so far we're going to say the ECD record's three. It's very good. Oh my god, top I was like, I mean, a great, this is a great turn for a colonnade, and then we hit a colonnade. Man, sometimes your luck just turns around, guys. Some guys have all the luck. On turn two, I'm really not super concerned with what they might have, so... Or turn three, even, really. Yeah, I don't care about that. So I'm probably just going to suspend Cloud's Gate here. Tell me something good. Oh, they didn't play anything? Sure. Man, the exact, the exact triome for their deck. Wow. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. Still nothing? Okay. Well. It is not your time. Cryptic Command. Come on, you know what's up. Okay, that guy's good too. Are they gonna factor fiction again? Factor fiction EOT and then untapping into my no mana up is pretty bananas. Okay, sure. Tell me something good. Tell me that you like it. Get rid of this guy. Because no one likes him. Play this guy. Because everybody loves him. I'm actually tempted to metamorph this guy. Bounce another land. Oh, 
That seems pretty good, especially because untapped Dream Trawler or Glenelander Archmage. Clever impersonator, copy another one. <laughs> Alright, well, he's... I have 13 of my 17 lands in my hand, in play, or in my graveyard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Is that 7 lands in hand? Well... Guinness hung up on you? This is unbelievable. This will not stand. I'll keep this. We do need lands. We're on the draw. We got a rifty boy. Hit a land. It's all coming together. Wow, it's I feel like we do we do really well in these matches if we able to, if we're able to hit a land drops. It's really strange. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. What's the worst that they could play? It's gonna be a Liliana. Okay, it's not a Liliana. Oh, it's that's pretty good. No, don't like that. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We have a counterspell, so. You got it. Whatever this is, I'm countering it. Yeah, that's got to go. Can I copy a Clothis? It's not a creature, right? So no. So that's not what we want to do. See, we missed the land drop. Now we can't Clever Impersonator or Face Fetters here. Face Fetters... I don't know how good that would be, but... Uh-huh. I think Clothis is extremely good here. Um, Yeah, that's fine. Is it Ravia's Exile, right? So, Dark Confidant. I don't know why it's over there, not over here, but okay. I feel like their deck is good. Clothes with the most mostes. Um, we definitely want to like. Hmm. We played land this turn. Yes, we did. Dang it, Kerwit with the resub. Thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Clever in person, we can make Bitter Blossom, but we're already at 15, so like they're kind of ahead on that front. No fancy chat? No, I, I didn't have a chance to test it. Um, we can Clever in person our own Riftwing Cloudskate. Bounce their Copper Line Gorge. I actually don't hate that. Oh, we should have played Mindstone and then taken two here. Yeah, that's unfortunate.
What if they just kill themselves with their own Dark Confidant and Bitter Blossom? <laughs> Maelstrom Pulse is actually incredible when I have two Riffling Cloud Skates on the board. Hmm. However, them not having an untapped green source is also pretty incredible. Really? Wow, they took four from Thrun? Wow, they might just be more dead than we think. They're at seven, now they get to bite my whole board. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, alright, so I think three, four, five, so we're just going to one. Yeah, we're just dead. <laughs> four, five, six, we gain three. Yep, that's going to be the end. That's wild. I'm on stream and you're streaming with me. We're streaming together right now. I want McDonald's. Okay, well, I'm sure we can get you McDonald's. That, that's fine. Okay, that's all I had to tell you. Oh, wow, that's it? That's all I get? Well... Do you want to know other things? I mean, you could just tell me when you get home, I guess. There's nothing much else to report. I just really am feeling that two cheeseburger meal and just nope. wanted to let you know. Okay, well, I have been informed of your two cheeseburger preferences. I guess my question was, should I get it on the way home? No, because I haven't I... eaten anything, so please don't get dinner without me. Okay. Uh, I'd like to have it. I'd like to have an input in our dinner. Okay, well, I didn't. 4 p.m. lunchtime. You what? I didn't know if you had 4 p.m. lunchtime. Oh, classic 4 p.m. lunchtime. No, no, I'm. I, I'll be hungry. I'll be fine. Okay. I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. Love you. I love you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, she could literally eat the, two, the McDonald's two cheeseburger meal every day. There's a disturbance in the force. Is there still a disturbance? In the no, it's just the okay. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just smell like this. Again, they have dark confidants, so Sunland seems fine. Um. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. They go to six. Dang it! They never go to six in their three-color deck. Man, the only reason I ever want to play Lutero Core is when I want to uh, make sure my Fallen Shinobi connects. Well, they're going to get a bread, and they're going to get Clothis. Here's the red. Here's the Clothis. What's it like being right all the time? I don't know. It's hard to say. Oof. Battlesphere. Alright, well, next turn we do have several options, and this turn we get to... I just woke up from a banging nap. <laughs> nice. Ooh, they're trying to ramp here? It totally slapped. I like a good nap. Yeah, that's fine. You can get rid of my looter real core. But 
but you can never get rid of my freedom. I kind of just want to copy the Clothis here, to be honest with you. I think it's just really good. Like, it's never going to turn on, but I don't know if it's going to turn on for them either. And, like, having an ability to, like, negate the ability on this is very strong, especially for, like, oh, cool, I have no way to deal with that. Like, taking two a turn is pretty strong. Thrun is also pretty strong, just in case you guys didn't know. I mean, so is Dream Trawler. Wow. I mean, I wasn't going to block anyway, so... Sure. They have no cards in hand. Really need some lands here. Well, you know, that's kind of like a land. I think we just have to play this and hope for a land next turn. Dream Trawler can't even block the run, which is pretty unfortunate. Wow, you just mono hits? Or are you... Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, Glow wouldn't have done anything there, so. Any land. Watch, it's going to be a Thassa. Okay. Do, 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 do. Move the focus on my mind. Okay, they hit a land. Ooh, is this a Lava Claw Reach's turn? Really? Two, three, four, five. Well, we can't kill anything, so we'll block here. Five, six, seven, eight. We gain three. Sure. This is a 5-3 or 5-2, right? Sure. Lots of triggers happening. Um, one, two... One, two, three, four. So we can actually crack this to draw another card. And then bounce like their Kalidus or something. This also just gives another life, so. Bouncing Kalidus means we can trade with the Lava Claw Reaches, and they can't activate it in the same turn. It's also the most expensive card in their hand, so if they want to replay it, that's fine. I think I'm just taking the five here. Unless they drew, like, one mana removal spell. Maelstrom Pulse, sure. I F6, so they could have actually got my Dream Trawler there. Oh, boy. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure that's going to be game. Wow, that's insane. What an insane draw. I'm just going to keep calling in hand to discard to Dream Trawler. Like, I just don't feel like they can deal with Dream Trawler on a long-term basis. And they're in top deck mode, so, like, you know. I don't think the best bet is to activate Lava Courageous Attack with everything. If I double block Lava Claw and Thrun, they're still killing Elspeth. So I kind of have to spread it out. Yeah, their deck is extremely cheap, and that kind of makes it pretty efficient. Oh, they're all just going face. Really? How do you... So I'll take five, and you have one card in hand. I don't think anything's going to deal five here. Flame spell, maybe? Oh, they're just pumping Kalidus. Sure, still taking five. Uh, let's add a green. I mean, I'm always tempted to, to negative Elspeth. They have, like, nothing if we do that. I mean, we lose our Dream Trawler, but... I mean, this is just canceling out each turn, which is the problem. Whereas, like, realistically, Colonnade and Galenalinger will close out the game. Especially when we have counter spells for all their things. Yeah, let's do it. Can I ask you a serious question about Magic the Gathering? Okay. Can't tell if you want face. Elspeth, yeah, no. How many basic lands should I be playing in my Zendikar Rising draft deck if I end up with eight flip lands? Oh my god. I've counted the flip lands as half a land. Like, kind of like scrying. Um... So they're basically dead, right? There's no way they can... Like, we have we have Cryptic Command and Dissol Disallow up. Okay. Man, Spellcaller saved the day. How's Melissa? I haven't been with Melissa. Maybe Melissa broke up four years ago. <laughs> That's a very strange question. 
Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, this is fine. Like, we still have lethal in the air, so. And I'm pretty sure we can activate and still queue up disallow. Johnny G, no, no worries, buddy. No worries. It's just always funny when people ask me that. I'm like, well? Because it's been so long, you know? This is what we call lethal. Alright, I think we're good. I am a little worried about Thrun, but we handled it fine there. Mentor dies to, like, all their stuff. Lightning Bolt, Disfigure, like... The problem is we want to get value out of our cards before they start doing their thing. Terminus actually could be decent against them. They have a bunch of... Do you have any answer for the god? Yeah, I just copy it. I mean, not really. Like, we have all the answers in our, in our deck that we would that we would have for those. I have Elspeth. Duplicant's actually... No, Duplicant can't get rid of a Thrun. I was like, Duplicant's pretty good against Thrun. No. No, he's not. Yeah, we'll add that Terminus. We'll add that Big Terms. Maybe we just take out Battle Sphere. We don't seem to need it. What is your opinion on Care Bears? Um... I think they were a solid addition to my childhood. I, I didn't watch... I wasn't a huge Care Bears fan, but I think they were a decent addition to my childhood. Like, uh, the, the the selection that was available. So, I'm fine with them. I think they're... Uh, I think they do good work. I'm going to put this in the one mana spot. We got one cut. Maybe it's just mere Battle Sphere. <sighs> it seems really good, though. I feel like if we get Thassa online, like, it's really good. Uh, maybe it's not. V-Click actually doesn't seem great against them. Maybe it does. It gets rid of Thrun. <sighs> I want to take out the Looter. Looter seems poop. Well, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I mean, it might be worth keeping this hand because of that, though, so... God, they have not mulliganed ever. I've never seen them mulligan before. I like being able to go uh, Terminus into Dream Trawler. What bear is best? False. Black bear. Wow. What did you name? Nice. We also have three of our six drops in hand, so that's pretty cool. Mindstone one time. Sun Lance. Live. I think about it. Maybe I like Champion of Wits is good here, but I just don't know what I want to discard for it. So it's like, well, I feel like if I can survive to Terminus, I think we're in good shape. But I also don't want to play Spellquill or get something and then put the other thing on the bottom. That seems bad. <sighs> okay, so Battle Sphere's got to go and probably Spellquill. Battle Sphere 7. <laughs> Come on, lands. I've drawn the same number of cards that cost 6 or more as I have lands, so... That's also all of them. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Do they take Terminus over Elspeth? That's interesting. Yep. That's good. Wow, that puts us in a really awkward position right now. I don't know what's going on outside. Metamorph doesn't target now. 
Wow, collective brutality hitting Terminus is pretty insane. Quiet down. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Wait, what? Oh, we're at eight, so we have to block this guy. <laughs> I think we're just dead, actually. Um. Yeah. This is rough. Oh, well. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankfloormanitraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. Every Wednesday. And uh, you can also check out nordvpn.org. Yeah, I knew they had lightning bolts. Like, it's so obvious. Like, slash Lapor. And you will get 68% uh, off a two-year subscription along with one month free. Which is a good deal. 2-1. Still not too bad for our, our going with the modern cube, unfortunately. But, um... Yeah, definitely follow or subscribe. Give me them give me that support. And uh I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.